Hello everyone. So as you know, we've been running the Backstage Pass experience this week where we have invited people to join us for free inside our Backstage membership to experience the live elements of the membership. So every every month we have live elements like a guest expert, live workout and trainings. So we have done all of that into one week so that people can experience our community and you know, understand how beneficial these ballet inspired workouts are, get to understand my way of teaching, um, you know, meet other like minded women and experience our community. And we are on day five now. So we're on the last day of the experience. And I thought it'd be really nice to ask some of our members to hop on and talk to you about their experience inside backstage so that rather than listening to me talk about how amazing it is, you can listen to them. Now, I don't know what they're going to say. Um, hopefully it's good things. So first of all, um, I'm going to introduce you to Elaine. So thank you so much for joining us, Elaine. Elaine, how long have you been in backstage now? Oh, forever. No, it's actually <laughs> was during one of the lockdowns, I think it was 2020, when I first encountered you via Facebook. And, uh, and it just fitted in with the de my desperation for needing to keep mobile with a, in, a, in a varied way. Um, we were mm. all sort of, there were five of us in the house. And whilst it's not a small house, it's it was just quite sort of uh, claustrophobic, not being able to get out and see um, my friends apart from meeting up for a, a, a distance walk or whatever. Um, and so it was actually lovely to manage to have some other introduction sort of to my household activities um, that, was, that had a structure, that had a progression and made me feel very positive and mental positivity at that time mm. was essential as well as actually being having the need and the desire to keep your body moving mm. and uh, and also given sort of my ever increasing years um just that sort of not giving up on yourself when you could just so easily just open the cupboard and eat everything in the cupboard and just watch rubbish movies all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you found, I think you found us via one of the challenges, the online challenges. Yes, it was. It was an online challenge and it was one of those things, absolutely, why not try this? I think I was up for, I was, I was more open for, trying new things and it has since encouraged me to sort of keep sort of looking like that and uh, as sort of not, not being afraid to try something new because um, there's there's no sort of risk the of trying something and thinking well it's for me or it's not for me it just so happened that this whole setup with you Sarah was definitely for me and definitely worth the try. There's really sort of very little sort of uh, negatives about that sort of trying it, trying it out and, and seeing how you get on with it, seeing how it fits in to you and your mentality. And um, I've not had any hesitation ever since then, sort of four years later, about not having it as part of my life and daily life, etc. Yeah. So when you when you did the challenge and you were offered the opportunity to join backstage, there wasn't really any hesitation because you were like, well, I've enjoyed it. What have I got to lose? Um, yes, absolutely. Um, I had up to that point sort of always had something physical in my life and I was going to sort of things like boot camps and um, and exercise classes and and things like that. And because of lockdown, that changed. And I knew that I probably wouldn't be able to pick it all up again. I think once you stop those things, that physical attendance of something, it's very hard to get back into um, that, that routine. But um, it was definitely a no-brainer to think, I can continue this. It's something that doesn't take too much time and effort out of my sort of progressive life. Um, mm -hmm. But it's something that I kind of clicks in my head that can work for me. So it, it wasn't too much. It wasn't too hard to think about, put it that way. Well, what What's kept you there for four years, Elaine, inside Backstage? I think community is definitely a huge thing. I think if this was just a series of videos that 
I had no connection, live connection with, I think that that would have been a difficult thing. And I have done things like that in the past um, through sort of things I've found online. And, and whilst you get all of these sort of nice things to do and it's, you're still on your own. Um, whereas this is much more of an active live community. Yes, you're doing some things that is remotely, yes, but there are opportunities for direct contact. Um, we have that weekly sort of chat, which is again, live connection, the live workouts that we can all do together, albeit remotely, and things like sort of um, retreats um, and meeting up at various things that, can um, really just help that um, to, to really underpin that whole sort of um, ethos of this being a lifestyle, not a sport and not a pastime or a hobby. It's a lifestyle change or it's a lifestyle sort of essential. Mm, wow. And it really does help sort of diet, mindset, um, it sort of mindfulness, um, it helps that, you know, that that whole times that when things aren't going right in other parts of your life, everything else is falling apart or things aren't happening when they should. Mm. And sometimes you just need that. Let's just ground ourselves. Let's just get on the mat. Let's just do something that 20 minute workout of that you know, of that day or, or whatever it is or 30 minutes. That is all you need to just reset your head to carry on with the tough stuff yeah yeah oh, I love how you've just dis described it as a essential lifestyle essential I think you described it absolutely yeah if um if people watching this who are thinking of joining backstage you know on the fence not sure what to do what would you say to them I think it's always a big decision, and and I think that as Victoria said, you know, I'm not the easy, I'm not the easiest decision maker at all as well. My husband will concur with that. Um, it often takes me forever to make that sort of commitment, um, but this just seemed to tick the boxes. It was a no brainer. Was there any reason why I shouldn't do it? I couldn't honestly think of a reason for me not to go ahead. You know, it wasn't something that there was a risk involved. And so for me, that that was that was the decision. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I was right. Thank you, Elaine. I really appreciate it. And I think your words will resonate with people and hopefully help them make an informed uh, decision as to whether to join our backstage community and mm -hmm. and have that lifestyle essential and have this community uh, um you know be part of this community to help them optimize their health so i really appreciate i really appreciate your time and sharing that and it's fun too that's the mm -hmm. thing it's not just a bit of pain to get gain it's uh it's actually fun and you can you can't if it is tough you can tell you know we can say Sarah you know that was a tough one or that that was that was uh what what were you doing to us um it is fun and you're very personable and the you and you, the thing is you also listen to your members you listen to what we would like to what we feel that it is necessary in our lives and you consult us constantly to ensure that you are providing um, that entire package for us and so we do thank you for everything that you do um, in helping us um, be all we can be <laughs> oh thank you Elaine thank you I appreciate it I ha actually had an email this week from a member asking if I could um, help with pelvic floor exercises and I filmed it yesterday so it's coming into the October new workouts in addition to the one I'd already filmed um, mm. so yeah absolutely because you know obviously I this is a business but I want I would get no reward from just providing things and, and not seeing change. Yeah. And so for me, I want to know who, which guest experts you want in. 
Mm. I want to know which workouts you want, what information you need, you know, what, what do you need right now to help? And, and actually the guest experts that we've got lined up over the next few months, there is, it was funny because Victoria was talking about procrastination. I have someone coming in to talk about procrastination. So, um, she's, Oh, is it me? <laughs> not, not about, not about the fact of procrastination, but oh. how to overcome procrastination. Okay. So, um, yeah, she's amazing. So yeah, yeah, we have that. We've, we've got a lot of very interesting ones actually coming up. So um, all all of which have been requested and I've gone out and found them. So fingers crossed. Brilliant. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for your kind words. I really appreciate it. Shane has been waiting very patient, patiently. i um, just going to unmute you, Shana. Um, Elaine, if you need to leave, by all means, I won't be offended, but you're more than welcome to stay as well. Thank you. There we go. So Shana. Shana is a member who is out in Australia um, and she's very kindly um, agreed to hop on. Shana, how long have you been a member inside Backstage? Uh, about a year. I yeah, I need I need I need to pay my um my my next year. <laughs> membership. <laughs> I keep getting those emails. I'm like, yes, I've got it. It's in my coming, diary. Coming. <laughs> and how did you find it was that through a challenge one of the online challenges was through a challenge uh no I actually found you you started popping up in my social media uh -huh. um yeah so basically I think I'd probably been doing some of your your workouts um through YouTube uh, okay. um for about six to eight Eight, yeah, maybe eight months um, before I actually went, you know what, here's the challenge. I'm going to sign up for it. Um, and I think the reason that it was popping up in my social media, because my doctor, I'd been to see my doctor to say, look, things are changing. What's going on? Um, and she said, look, you're, you're too early for early, early menopause. <laughs> oh, sorry, peri yeah, perimenopause. Um, you're, you're too early for that. And, and then she's like, actually maybe you are um let's just watch it and yeah came, when I came back and she said okay um I, I really want you to start going to the gym I want you to start building your strength it's really important because you know I've got a six-year-old son um and yeah if things do start to change um you know quickly um yeah she doesn't want me to be you know um in my 50s or 60 and yeah have yeah yeah all these yeah. problems but I haven't um and I'll be honest I have never played sport I've never done um yeah yeah right yeah and I, I do dance but yeah not in a very yeah um serious kind of a way if that makes yeah. sense yeah so yeah I think I started sort of doing some research I was like okay going to the gym that's just not going to work for me um one because I do live rural so to go to the gym um I'd have to there'd be have, I'd factor have a factor in probably about an hour traveling um mm. or Gosh, you yeah. know some, yeah, extra child you know mm. um care after work or something like that and and it's just not something that I I do so mm. um yeah so um, you so did yeah. the challenge you did yeah. the challenge and then did you have any hesitation about then no, going I, and joining backstage no, I, no, so the challenge was um, an abs challenge, um, and it, I, guess, I guess you know it happened. This it was this time of year, so it was you know here it's coming into spring, um, so really a good good time for me. It's also you know coming up to my birthday. It's a time when I'm um, yeah I, because it's also school holidays as well. I think I it fell with um, I had a week without my son. He was at his dad, so I was like, you know what. I'm going to do this because I've got the time to commit to it and I would normally wouldn't pay to sign up for something like that yeah. um but I was like actually it's actually not really that much um and I've enjoyed it all the you know workouts that I had been doing um the free ones and yeah I did it and I loved it I loved every every part of it I I um wasn't able to do the things I think there was one night that I did get up in the middle of the night to to join one of the live live things and then I was just like yeah no I don't need to do that I can just join <laughs> um or watch it the, yeah. the next morning 
um, yeah. and t- you know take my notes and yeah. yeah, and it was really good, you know, um, having having the you know the um, the week menu plan, suggested menu plan with the shopping list to go shopping and stuff like that. It was it was actually fun to do something different and and to yeah, I, I guess sort of um, have an, a, a different way of doing things that I hadn't yeah. really thought about. Not not necessarily things that I didn't know about, but just that I hadn't, it made it so easy to do something different that was just for me. Yeah. And so how how have you found it inside backstage since, you know, over the last year? What have been your biggest um you know, if when you look back, you think, oh, actually, I, you know, within the first six months, I was feeling like this. Or, you know, what, what, what was happening over the, what's been happening over that twelve month period? Um, so one of the things that I did learn um, from doing that, um, the the challenge was, was about that. Um, uh, so, what, what, um, like when when you keep a, tr- a track of what you're doing, so having you have those yeah, goals, like, but you, yeah, yeah you, you, ha- you have the. Um, I'm sorry, I can't think of what the actual term is. Um, but basically, yeah, like I, I write down in my my weekly diary what what are some of the things that I want to become norms in my life, mm. um, and and I tick those things off every day when I've done them. And mm. I think that um, the fact that every every day there's you know three different workouts that you can do and you can choose to do all three of them or you can do one or two um or if they're not working um i've I've, i guess i've got some backups that i've saved as my go-tos um and i think yeah that the biggest thing is that keeping track of when i've done even if i'm i am just doing a, a you know a 10 minute workout or sometimes they're even less um if i have that tick and when I get to the um, end of the week, it's usually a Sunday Sunday evening when I sit down um, and, I, and I, even when I feel like I haven't achieved anything, I go back and I go, oh, you know what? At least three days I actually did something. And then, you know, I also have other things in there, like I've gone for a walk or I went to my dad's class or I, um, I've got cleaning and gardening in as well. Mm-hmm. So I, w- I realise that I've done something every single day. I've moved in in some way and at least three of those are a, a sort of a strengthening um, exercise. Mm, yeah, brilliant. And how have you, because, you know, like we were saying, you could go on YouTube and, and do workouts there. What has made the difference? You know, why, what is it about backstage that's, that's enabled you now to track that, be grateful for what you're doing, focus on what you can achieve and be more consistent than ever? um with your exercise um I think it's it definitely is the community it's um yeah the the and these Q and A's as well these are the ones that I can do um at least every fortnight um I can attend the live Q and A um <laughs> because it's yeah switched around um but yeah it's just yeah ha- having you know be- becoming used to some of the the people like i you know, pro- I will probably never meet them because I'm on, on the other side of the world. Or there's a few people here. There's in loads of members in Australia, though. There are lots of members in Australia. Yeah, and and I um yeah I I think yeah th- these regular you know checking in um and even you know sometimes it's you know, you you give us little um challenges and and you give us reasons to um you know let people know what our goals are or you know you've got your competitions and things that you run and things like that um that there's little things that that help us to hold ourselves accountable you know like you, well you're kind of holding holding us accountable but then we hold each other a little bit accountable but it's in a nice way it's yeah. it's in a, even if i haven't done anything i i feel it's a safe place to to actually say i haven't yeah. um, done anything for these reasons yeah. or you know, if there's something that people might be able to help me with, I can mention that and I'll usually, always, actually, yeah, multiple people will give me some things that might help um, mm. with yeah. whatever it is. And then keep doing some exercise and stuff. <laughs> yeah, so you're, you're moving. And if if people, like I was saying to Elaine, if there's people sitting on the fence and they're not sure whether to join backstage, what would you say to them? Um, honestly, 
I, I know some people are very much into, I need to leave the house. I need to do something. Um, but, um, you know, most of us are time poor and finding something that can very easily fit in to our daily lives and not, um, you know, involve me adding any extra time, like the travel time I mentioned before, um, there's nothing to lose. It's, you know, when you work it out, it, you know, daily or weekly, it, it's not very much. Um, yeah. And, and then it's not just the workouts, it, it's the guest speakers. It's, mm. it's, uh, yeah, it's the, um, you know, the goal setting, all those sorts of things. Um, it's a, a mindset thing. It's um, a motivation thing. And, and I think all of those, um, those different, um, yeah, all of those different things, I find that they help me in all my other aspects of life as well. Oh, so I'm not using them to, yeah, moving and, and, and strengthening and improving my balance, mm. which are all things that I, I do need to do. Um yeah, they're, they're helping me find time to do other things as well. Um, and, and, and that's that's crucial, yeah. isn't it? You know, if we're moving our bodies, we're eating well, we're feeling good, it has a huge knock-on effect to other aspects of our lives as well. We become more patient with those around us. Um, and just, I think, the confidence as well, isn't it? It's the confidence to go and do things when you've got yeah. that strength. Yeah, and, and also that fact of, you know, you know, when I do on the rare occasions go to a, another class, I'm always comparing myself to others, mm. but I, I'm not doing that because I'm I'm doing it by myself. Mm. Um, and yeah, that's kind of nice, but it's also nice to know that others are also doing it at the same time. Um, <laughs> so it's like, it's very, it's a very safe thing to do. And I can always ask questions um, and you always get back to us very quickly. Yeah. Um, got questions. Um, Brilliant. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you so much, Shana. I really appreciate you hopping on and sharing your experience of backstage. I'm sure it'd be very helpful for those ladies who are considering joining us. So um, I know it's your evening over there. So um, <laughs> I will let you go to relax and enjoy the rest of your day off in Australia. Um, well, the football. Yeah. Does yeah. it happen anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> all right lovely thank you so much I really appreciate it and for those of you that are watching if you have any questions at all about backstage please do drop me a message you can ask the current members inside the group just post in there and ask them and they will give you their honest views on whatever questions you've got um we will be closing down the dashboard and the access to um the materials at 9 p.m on Tuesday so um, and we've bonuses available for those of you that are signing up before then um, signing up to backstage before then but otherwise um, thank you for joining us and I'll speak to you very soon thank you Shana bye thank you bye